Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Cher. I want to go through a lot of my favorite picks for the Sephora sale coming up. It starts the 14th for Rouge members as well as the Sephora collection and all, um, but then it opens up to VIB, I believe the 18th, and then on to the Beauty Insider level from there. So I have been wanting to get this video out to you guys where I can share a lot of my picks on the sale. We're going to go through that today. If that interests you, make sure you pop that subscribe button because I love to do a lot of sales, especially for beauty shopping hauls, um, beauty product reviews, and spoilers and that kind of thing. So if you love this kind of content, make sure you stick around my channel and we're going to dig in. So I actually really wanted to do this video after the sale had opened because sometimes they drop bigger discounts once it is open rather than, you know, just the overall sale so that I could see what some of those specific items might be discounted on. However, unfortunately, I'm going to be gone on my girl's beach trip right when the sale opens. So I won't be able to bring that to you. I don't think I can really film from the beach and I don't really want to be filming from the beach. I am going to bring you a vlog from the beach, but I'm not going to be filming sales from the beach. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go ahead and just do it ahead of time. And I guess if there's amazing deals that I see, I will try to maybe keep you guys posted like in the community tab or something, like a quick post about it. Or um, if you don't follow my like to know page, make sure that you follow me there. I'm gonna put it on the screen for you because I do post a lot of sales on that one um, a lot more frequently. So, you know, I can try to at least keep you up to date on that. But anyway, today we're gonna go through and I am going to share some of my favorites, things that I have my eye on, things that are my wish list that I'd like to get from Sephora during the sale. Also things that I already have or have already tried in the past that I would recommend to you that um, you may wanna pick up during this time. And um, look at a couple of things that I've already seen that are already on discount right now that I think are just a steal. I just wanna alert you to that, hey, this is on sale, you guys. So that's what we're gonna cover today. So let's dig in. So um, if you're not familiar with it real quick, what you have is different levels within, um, you know, being a Sephora member. If you're somebody who shops with them frequently, basically you can join their rewards program. Um, <clears throat> so just depending on how much you spend, you can become a Rouge member or a VIB member or an insider. And an insider, you really don't have to have like spent anything. You just need to like join the app, sign up, that kind of thing. Um, so they have different dates. You know, it opens earlier for obviously the higher level members. Um, and then they also open up their Sephora collection early as well. So within each membership and each tier or level, you have, you know, different percentages of how much off you're going to get during the sale. So for insiders, you are going to get 10% off everything. Um, for the VIB members, you're going to get 15%. For Rouge members, I believe it's 20% if I remember that correctly. And then for um, overall Sephora collection is 30% off. Okay. So obviously it's in your best interest to want to be in those higher level tiers because you get more, you know, discounts in the sale. Um, but obviously then you got to spend more to, to get that. So, you know, balance out, like how much do you shop at Sephora? Okay. So first I'm going to cover things just on my wish list, some new drops that this will be a good time to pick them up with it being a sale. I, I'm, it's, I'm in a tough bind right now, guys, this year, because I'm trying to save every single penny I have for my trip to Scotland. And if the Scotland trip doesn't work out, then um, I may be going to Costa Rica. So basically, I'm trying to plan for travel, and I'm saving every penny for it. And gosh, guys, travel is way more expensive than beauty. <laughs> like, I'm used to being able to just plunk down my money for, you know, whatever I want beauty wise, but I'm saving every penny for travel right now. So I'm going to have to be very careful with my money, but this is what's on my wish list. I don't know what I'm going to spend and if I'm going to spend it, but it's what I have my eye on at least. Okay. So the first thing I absolutely am dying to pick up is the new Rare Beauty lip oils. Absolutely got to have one. Um, I'm dying to try it. Honestly, everything in the Rare Beauty line. Um, so while we're on that subject of Rare Beauty, I'm also um, really late to the 
uh, highlight <laughs> drop as well. I really want to do um, her highlights. I hear that they're like blinding, gorgeous highlights, and I'm dying to try one. So those are definitely top on my list at the moment. Um, I also, another recent drop, not as new, but still somewhat recent, are the Charlotte Tilbury wands. Um, and so, of course, everybody's coming out with these wands, guys. Like, you know, everyone's falling suit. So Elf, of course, just dropped theirs too. So I'm like, I've got to get Elf's. <laughs> um, you know, Tarte, I went over that in another video. They've just come out with their little wands as well. Um, but I really want to try Charlotte Tilbury ones as, as well. So <laughs> I might as well just pick them all up, huh? But no, that's definitely one I've got my eye on because it will be, you know, at Sephora during that time if it doesn't sell out. Um, another one that was somewhat recent too was the Laura Mercier foundation. Um, so I love Laura Mercier. I use this in my makeup business. I use the setting powder, like the translucent setting powder as my ride or die. So I was really curious about the foundation. And as I've mentioned in other videos, I've been really on the hunt for, um, you know, some backup foundation line with hers being so, you know, reliable for being able to use it on clients and, you know, flash photography, all of that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I'm curious about how her foundation performs. So I'd really be curious to pick up a bottle in it and just try it out and see what it's like. And then I had a whole video out there talking about the new drop, the whole new line from Pat McGrath, the bronzer collection, which is very exciting. So that will be on sale or that will be at Sephora. Maybe they'll drop it even more. I doubt it because it's a new release. You don't tend to see the big discounts on the new releases, um, but that Divine Bronzer collection, um, I really have my eye on the bronzers there. Um, there's also Makeup by Mario. There's this lip gloss, and that's one thing. I wasn't crazy about that foundation that I tried. I had a whole video testing his too. Um, but I really liked the lip gloss I got from him and he has this new plumping gloss, I think. So I'd love to pick up more, more of that and have that in my makeup kit too. And then I also was really curious about the one size, um, mattifying primer. Another thing that I've had my own, I haven't done a lot of, have I done anything by one size? I don't think I've done anything by one size. So I'm really wanting to finally, finally pick this up. And a primer is another thing that I really want to try because along with looking for new foundations comes the primers as well. And then I really want to try the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter. It's like supposed to be, you know, airbrush glowy foundation and they have it in this mini. So it's making it a lot more affordable to try it. I think this is the one that is like the e.l.f. Halo Glow is a dupe for, if I'm correct about that. I'll have to double check that. But I absolutely love the Halo Glow. Love it so much. So now I'd really love to try the real thing or try, you know, the Charlotte Tilbury version. And at that price with it being a mini, you know, I can pick it up for not quite as much and give it a try. So that's another one that I kind of have my eye on. Then um, I have been dying to try the Huda Beauty setting powder, um, but I've noticed the pink tint. And so it's supposed to be more brightening, great for like that under eye. And I've seen a lot of people use it and love how it looks. And that really, you know, powder look that's so popular and trending right now. So I have been really wanting to pick that one up for my clients and try it out. And I see a lot of people that, you know, they use that in their makeup practice. So um, even though I had a recent video about Huda Beauty, um, I still, I love her makeup line. Then, okay, I really got to get on the bandwagon and pick up some of this Dior, Dior, however you say it, Dior, you know, high-end luxury blush, um, blushes, because, you know, this really hot pink blush is all the rage too, and it is, this stuff is all the rage, so I'm like, I have to join, I have to get this. So that's everything that's kind of on my wish list that I am debating on what are the priorities and looking to see if anything might go a little more, bit more discounted, possibly during the sale. Let's talk about a couple of picks, um, things that I have tried that I might recommend for you too, if you haven't tried it, that are, you know, picks um, 
on Sephora as well. One is this Ola Hendrickson CC stick thing. <laughs> I don't even know what you call it. Just got this in the BoxyCharm box and I was talking about it. Um, love this stuff. It's amazing, amazing stuff. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show it to you real quick. If you haven't seen that video, here it is right here. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. This is amazing stuff. So, I mean, really brightens under the eyes and it's like a, a serum or a banana. I don't even know what it is. I can't remember now, but it's, it's amazing stuff. So I definitely see that one on Sephora's site that is so worth picking up. Um, look at that. So easy. Like you don't have to be a makeup artist to figure out how to apply this. Just pop a little bit in your corners where the really dark spots are and you are golden. So love this stuff and I really recommend it. And then the next one that I highly recommend you guys check out is this Tarte Maracuja Lip Balm. I've talked about this one before, how much it's ride or die now. I had gotten it a long time ago in the Tarte Takeover BoxyCharm box and fell in love with these things. People were really raging about it and now I see why. Like I love them. And so I really have wanted to pick up like every shade in it. So definitely worth picking up during the sale. Um, I mentioned it in an empties video too, but mine has run out now. So I've been meaning to like restock it on these sales guys. Okay, so with the um, Sephora collection being so heavily discounted and having such a good sale on it, let's walk through a couple of items on the Sephora collection line. I don't have a lot of Sephora collection items and I haven't tried a lot from them, but there are a couple. So I figured I'd point them out for how they're going to be discounted so much. So I think that they are worth you picking up and they're ones that I do recommend. So let's look at, there's this moisturizer right here, the Sephora moisturizer. So I've actually been using it, um, the probiotic, this one is nourishing moisturizer, it's prebiotics. And I got this in, I think my Allure box a little while ago. And I've just started incorporating it back into my skincare like for the last week or two because I had forgotten about it. And it's really good stuff. It's nice and like pretty thick cream. Um, you know, I've really liked it a lot. And so for that price, you guys, I would grab that up because I think it is good skincare and you cannot beat the price that it's going to be at. So definitely one I recommend when that collection goes live on the 14th, which I think, I don't know when this video is going to drop, guys. So I'm thinking it's probably going to drop Thursday and the sale starts Friday. So be ready to grab it because that Sephora collection is going to be on sale. Okay. Um, another one that I'm looking at is I was just talking to you guys about, you know, those Maracuja lip balms from Tarte. And I see that the Sephora ones are really heavily discounted. So imagine putting your discount on top of that too. You're going to be able to snatch it up for nothing. And that one really reminds me a lot of the Tarte one. It looks like it could be. Now, I haven't tried it, so I can't tell you for sure. But for that price, I would get it because it really looks like it just, the packaging really reminds me of the Tarte ones. So I think it's worth grabbing at that price and trying it out and seeing how you like it. Another one from the Sephora collection. I am a huge, huge sugar scrub kind of girl. I love the scents in any kind of like perfume or body wash or whatever that are, have that like sugar smell to it, like baking, um, like a vanilla or a, you know, sugar ones, like white sugar are my favorites. They're just heavenly to me. So they have this bath scrub and it's already on discount. So then you put your discount on top of that. I would snatch that one up in a heartbeat. I might even grab it because this is like my favorite kind of scent. So just wanted to point those items out from specifically the Sephora collection. Okay, so last, let's just point out a couple more deals that I'm spotting out there. Some of these have been deals on Sephora site for a long time, honestly, since the last Sephora sale, because I had my eyes on them back then, and they were at that price, and it looks like they've kept the same price until now. So I just want to point out a couple of these. Um, Fenty Beauty, so this foundation has been discounted for a while and, you know, who wouldn't want to try it? I mean, Fenty Beauty, as well as they've had this little duo set with the bronzer for a while now. There's this cream 
contour it looks like along with a powder bronzer and so um, I had this in my cart back in the fall and I didn't end up getting it. I just got one I think instead of the duo but it's still discounted very heavily so I think worth grabbing if they have your shades that you that you have in mind and along those same lines there's another foundation that is also heavily discounted right now from Fenty Beauty this one's more the hydrating one or as the other one was more matte I think that's the difference so again um really got my eyes on those I think that that is something to grab up you know I mean I love Fenty Beauty so I would grab it at that price so that's pretty much it I guess it's a lot of Fenty Beauty <laughs> that I was pointing out for you so then I also wanted to mention some of these Sephora favorites sets. So what you're getting with those, if you go shop in that section for the favorite sets, okay, you're going to get a huge bundle for um, a very discounted price. Um, so this is like getting, you know, beauty boxes or whatever. So we have this new vacation one that they dropped and you're getting a lot of goodies in here. It looks like some ABH I spy in there. Maybe some, is that uh Too Faced mascara one of my favorites um so check that one out there's several different sets gift sets in there with different themes they also have this clean me something like that um it's a couple of new sets that they have dropped so really good time to check those out as well because that's even more discounted when you get the bundle of these sets and I also wanted to make sure you guys know because I completely forgot about this. This isn't as related to the sale, but it works out for me because this sale is going on right before my birthday. So whenever you have a birthday, you actually get a free gift from Sephora. So I'm going to be getting my free gift, making sure that I go in on that one during the sale as well. So it's going to be extra treats for me. So I just wanted to mention that, that you can get freebies for your birthday. So happy birthday to me. I think that's everything, guys. These are just some of the things that really jump out at me at the moment. Like I said, once the sale opens up, there may be a lot of other items that are really discounted that I've missed today, and it's such a bummer, but I'm just, I'm not going to be able to get in here on the 14th or the 18th, probably. I don't know, possibly the 18th, but, you know, I will just be coming back into town, I think. So, um, I'm just not gonna be able to get that video to you. So I'm sorry. I'm really bummed about that. But anyway, that wraps it up. Let me know in the comments, guys, what things you have your eyes on. When are you going to start shopping? What level are you guys? Or are you going to sign up for a level so you can get in on the sale? Let me know. Happy shopping. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.